Hi beauty fam, welcome back to Nikki Car Beauty. I'm Mickey and on my channel I love to talk and try on luxury skincare and beauty. And today I thought I'd just run the film and do a get ready with me. I have a bunch of um, old but newer products that I haven't even gotten to play with. Uh, before we continue, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, would love for you to be part of the Nikki Car Beauty fam. Go ahead and subscribe, um, ring the notification bell and comment and like below. And let's begin. So I am, um, I have no makeup on at this point and actually the only thing I put on was actually perfume. So I actually posted on my Instagram stories a quick thin slicing of perfume that I got from Nordstrom's and, and there was this one perfume that I really do like. It's called Concrete Rain by All Saints. Eau de Parfum, Invigorating Tranquil Musk. And I tend to like a musky... Uh, earthy peppery perfumes I don't like them when they're really sweet it's since it's raining out today I was like this just smells like the sweetness after the rain so just like uh, a garden that's maybe more in springtime and then it rains and then just I live here in the Northwest so that actually kind of happens a lot when I'm walking around or if I'm on a trail you might be near a garden or flora and fauna and then there was a rain and there's mist and you can just smell the earth more and it's just smell smells really good anyway so I did things in reverse people do their makeup usually and then they put perfume on I didn't do that today I really wanted to just try out this perfume I'm trying to do this thing where I use one type of foundation for one week docu the reason I started my Instagram was not just only to share but I actually wanted to document the makeup I was using to see what actually looked best and for me I'm really big on skincare and foundations and so what I think I'm going to try to do is do this thing where I'm using one foundation for one week so I know when I take pictures what foundation it was that week so for this week I'm going to try to use actually really light makeup and this combination I've been really liking. I've been using the Surratt Dew Drop Foundation in the number seven. I love this foundation. If you're ever looking for the perfect light tint foundation, this is it. This is not going to cover up any redness or imperfections, but it's just, I don't know what magic's in here, but I get it now. I think Michelle Wong and Alicia Archer turned me onto this. It was hard to figure out my shade. So there's that. People complain about the mechanism. It's not that big of a deal. It's just a squeeze top. I, it's like a tube for <laughs> ketchup. Anyway, no, anyway, so there's a button you do. Before I do this, I'm so sorry. What I'm gonna do is actually use the Tatcha Silk canvas. So I, do I wanna use? So been using this, I know I'm behind the curve. Like a lot of people were using this a lot. Oh, there's a hawk outside my window. So in the Northwest, it's um, the season right now, the time of year where there's a lot of feeding of birds near the coastline because there's so much food, they call it chum. And there's so much bird activity, so much bird activity this past week, like birds in the sky in my backyard. Uh, there have been eagles in my neighborhood and then often hawks and I just I face a window and I just saw a hawk fly by uh, And there's so there's a lot of food right now. And so a lot of the birds are just so Active or along the coastline. I live not on the water, but very close to water and the other day I was driving and I saw an eagle just <laughs> dip by my car and it wasn't like I was in, I'm in the country. I like live like like near other people I don't live in the country so I was like driving and there were it was being chased by two blackbirds and when it came it dipped right near my car and I had never seen an eagle that close swooping in the wingspan and of course I braked because I wasn't gonna hit the eagle and then three days later I was driving on the freeway and a red-tailed hawk flew down in front of my car I was going 60 and I tapped my brakes because I didn't want to slam into it but it did this where it like it knew it was going to slam into my car and it like spread its wings like full on so it would break and then lifted itself up so it wouldn't slam into my car so that is northwest living at its peak it really you, like when you live here you really see wildlife and I love it 
Okay, so I've been trying this combination of Tatcha and using this primer, and I know just you, I just use the liquid primer, but I like to use this as a spot primer. I just, and the best way I could probably describe this, it reminds me a little bit of like the, um, this reminds me of the Danessa My Myricks Blurring Balm Powder, but I think there's more tack to this, this one. I don't have it in the universal shade, which would be the a kind of equivalent, but this kind of like stays down more. I think this moves a little bit more. And I actually just like to put it right on my finger. And I can see it's like a bit runny. That is what it looks like. And I just like to do this. And it's almost like yeah, I guess that's a close to be a tint. Yeah, it just it's very natural looking. And so you can see I have some redness here. So what I've been doing with this combination of the Surat Dew Drop Foundation, and I've used this actually with the Shantikai, this foundation. Look, when I was in Hawaii, these two looked really beautiful. It was a bit dewier, but that's okay. I was sweating and it's okay because it has SPF. So that, and then plus this Le Beige, this Chanel project product, the Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch. I didn't, I was okay about this. Like I'm not kind of on the fence about this product. I get it now. I know how to use it best for me. And I love it because it's pretty lightweight, but super pigmented. So you don't have to shake it. I use the color B40. You don't have to shake it because they're suspended pigments These, those are suspended pigments you see that and so I just go in with a, a little bit do you see that you don't need a lot what I like to use this is for spot treatments I don't wouldn't you cover acne with this but I have areas where there's redness and I'll show you here Get some redness here and that's where I'm really enjoying this product and this, it is a little bit more tacky, so you have time to move it around. But it's, since it's water-based, it's not oil. It doesn't add any extra oil to my skin because I have oily, uh, an oily skin, especially T-Zone. But I love this product because, a lot of people like this product because I think if they have dry skin, it's like really nice because it's not oily, it's water-based. And then for me, I love that it's water-based because I don't want to add more oil to my skin. And then it just, it's so pigmented, it just, I can use it for spot treatments. I get why people actually use this too as a concealer. For me, it doesn't work very well for the concealer because I have redness here or under eye. Okay, so I'm, I got that under eye corrector there. And then what I've been doing is then going into this, this Becca under eye brightening corrector and just using my fingers actually and then just working that product. I'm not um, moving around that orange product so much. I'm just kind of using this as a corrector, just working the product in. It's like reaching for this Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Contour Duo Intensity 2. And I'm going to go into, and I'm grabbing my mini base, Sony G. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going into that shade, which is pretty intense. And then going in to the areas and this is kind of like what she did she was like using hella bronzer contour and then she would she was going in heavy right here yeah it helps when I put my hair up because then it and then she did this thing called yeah so she's doing this okay that's like a lot but it's fine. We're playing with makeup. And then she did call this the light bulb moment. Where, you know, with contour and bronzer, it recedes because of the dark color, whereas light brings up, out and up, or out. So this is like another way of like thinning any sort of like double chin action you might have. Okay, and then she did this thing. Oh, where do I grab it? Here, I'm gonna grab just like a Sephora concealer brush, but it's got this straight edge here. 
and then going into again with that contour balm thing and then and then doing this to make my lips look bigger on my lips i have the suku lip balm in that 101 shade i'm just trying i'm trying out the product the past couple days okay so here's the contour this is what it looks like so there's that up here okay it looks to me this looks no <laughs> it just looks ridiculous so what i'm gonna do now what did i'm looking for my tools this might have some foundation on it still so what i'm gonna do is like take this product and try to blend in the product a little bit so it's a little bit more seamless yeah there's some foundation on here from the other day i just contour is weird to me i don't know i get i understand but like now that i'm looking at this with the contour of my nose i know my nose is wide i just remember what i'd like to, to do at least with this product the nars and i'm gonna go back in and this is actually what jlo had done she had taken touche clot product and i have this in 3.5 i had used this years ago and i actually don't know if this is the right Product. So I'm going to do is actually open it. This is the YSL Touche Clot Radiant Touch. And it was the woman who actually created this product is by Terry. She started by Terry. Whoa, that is way too light. So I think JLo had gone in on like some high points here, maybe here, here. Just to just brighten. Now this is not concealer. But it's again playing with that like light and dark effect right light brings things forward deeper colors recede push it back i'm just using my finger because it just i don't want to mess with the brush at this point oh i can see a difference it does definitely brighten up the area yeah i wouldn't use this as a concealer but as a brightener but actually it does the job which was four that was too orange so this is definitely the right color i do like i do like that Touche Clot. It's definitely a nice lightening product. So I have this in the color Bronzing Powder Bobbi Brown in Stone Street. For the life of me online, I could not tell the difference of the colors of the brown. So I'm just swatching the heck out of it now so you can all see. Okay, it reminds me of the color Goa, which I no longer own by Shantikai. This is the Niji Pro by Sony G and I'm going into that so you can see it picks up color I'm just gonna tap it a little bit because that's a little too intense and then going into this I like how the powder is it's very powder like the bronze whereas sometimes the bronzes are You know what let's do a comparison i think this is a little too red for me and i'm going to show you the le beige on this side okay we're going to do a comparison so that's bobby brown over here and then we're going to use the sun back deep so i'm just wiping this off and then going into the chanel which is also very pigmented so going here The nice thing about the Le Beige is that because it's part of that Le Beige series, there's like a luminosity, not, not texture or shininess. There's just a luminosity with this powder. I think if you're deeper skin and this is like your powder, this is going to be such a pretty powder for you. Okay. So that's the Le Beige on this side and deep, and this is sandstone. So this is like a really like very subtle, yeah, it's very subtle. Where this is definitely more like I've been sun kissed. Okay, so I wanna even that up. I think it looks a little too intense. A nice, finely milled powder for a subtle, a more like daytime subtle bronzer. It's really, actually really nice. Now I get why Michelle Wong likes this. I don't know if I like it better than my Chanel bronzer. It's just different. There's almost like an iridescence in there and sometimes I want a really more intense bronzing look. Uh, this is definitely more like everyday, really just subtle and nice. So I ended up getting the uh, the Kajal liner, this new one, 
comes with this little note, Victoria Beckham, which I know she wrote for me personally, right? Here is the product where it's freshly, ooh, that's pigmented. That's actually pigment that fell off. Let's watch that for you all. That is Surfside. And then I'm going to do another one and smudge out. I'm going to take it and smudge it out so it looks a little bit more like water. There you can see. The thing that I know about the Kajals are that they are very emollient. And because I have hooded eyelids, I do have to smudge it out. So I use the other end to smudge it out. And then I'm going back in again, closer to the lash line, just to add more depth. And I'm gonna sm smudge it out again. And then I'm taking again the liner and then just pulling some of the product out actually. You see that? I'll get it closer so you can see. So nice. I can see why people like these. I have Coco and Bordeaux and it's such a nice product. It's not perfect and I'll tell you why. It's nice in that you, I can make a, like a more intense liner lining look right near my lash line, which I'm doing, which creates a look more like this, right? And then as I smudge it out around it, it has this like more like the surf side, like sea blue. So going back in with the smudger and just moving that product around more. Here's what the test will be. I'll wear this today and I'll like, I won't do a check-in, but I'll pin a comment below is I'll see if this actually migrates to the bottom. I have oily lids and friends of mine have also commented that it just smudges on them and not in a cute way. So that's why they don't like these Victoria Beckham liners. So the one thing that I could think that would save it from smudging, and I have to think about this. So, but this is a little bit creamy. It's not super powdery. Do you see that? What I'm gonna do is go over it and just press it in. So I'm taking this Wayne Goss Zero Five brush, this one here. You can see it's like a squirrel hair tip. And I'm going into this color here. So I'm going into that teal color and just gently placing that shimmer shade. Honestly, if I had a matte teal, I would have grabbed that, but I don't think I do. And just blotting it over the eyeliner to to really just, what it does it sets it down in a way this is definitely oily lid uh hooded lid people problems so i got it too close to here so what's going to happen is that throughout the day this is going to migrate and it's concealer and some of that here again again i just some of that ginger i'm just taking some and then going back in that area and then that's a trick i know that some of you know it's just when after you finish an eye look or an eyeliner you go in with concealer and just clean up the area. So that is the teal, but I, you know, was trying to do the trick of tamping it down with a liner. And so we'll see, I'll let you know below what happens. I'm taking a BK Beauty 208 brush. It's like this tiniest liner brush. There are some gems in that BK Beauty line. I don't like all the brushes, but there's some gems for sure. And what I, what I do like are the two liner brushes, the 204, which is a great smudging brush, and the 208, because it's like the tiniest brush that I could find for detailed eye work. Okay, so literally just went into the liner here. Do you see that? And I'm just tapping it for the product. It is so emollient, this product. You don't need too much. And I'm just connecting the top with the bottom. I think it looks really pretty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is finish the other eye look and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with my liner done. I might put a little bit of this gold over it. And this is again from the Metropolis palette. 
and just lightly putting some patting some gold god this is such a beautiful palette i know it's like based on like the gilded age the great gatsby in new york and like the the barons what they call them oil barons and whatnot for me this also just gives like cleopatra regal vibes it's a very regal opulent palette i think this is like one of her most beautifully like creatively themed palettes like based on a time period i don't think they make this anymore she's going to have to like re-release it okay so what i'll say about the kajal liners they are not perfect what they are really great for in my opinion are just smudgy editorial looks when you want to just be a little bit messy with your look or that you don't have oily lids if you are like smudgy grungy looks and use it as a base layer as like a jump off point you could just well you could use these just by itself but you know i'm gonna get in close so you can see i used that kajal liner as a jump off point to start the look with that metropolis palette so i just put some gold over there i just think it's so beautiful is it gonna smudge likely this is my go-to benefit benefit goof proof brow pencil in 4.5 and i'm just using this to brush up my brows before i work on them and just like every other person in the 80s i over plucked my eyebrows so just really hoping they grow in more i used to have serious frida kahlo and this is the one with the head that like um edge like slanted edge and i'll show you this is what it looks like that's 4.5 and i'm going to compare it with my new tom ford chestnut 03 and it's the same kind of design it's slanted so the top one is chestnut it's more cool and this 4.5 it's more brown okay so we're gonna compare the two and even into like yeah the 90s yeah the 90s into early the early 2000s like I had over plucked my eyebrows and I was living in New York City at the time and I'm looking and when I look at my wedding photos I'm like oh my god where are my eyebrows okay so that's a nice deep color I had to work on this side up here in high school I actually had the Frida Kahlo unibrow and I was so embarrassed by that I learned what waxing was and the threading waxing I was never a fan of because my skin's sensitive and but uh, when I found threading that was my jam so just with that style like everything was over threaded back then and living in New York you have a lot of threading salons so I have not gone back to get my eyebrow shape because I, I just want my eyebrows to grow in a bit and I just shape my own eyebrows that's why I don't get them done okay so that is the benefit brow on that side and then I'm gonna show you what this one this is the chestnut in uh the tom ford it also comes with an extra cartridge in here it includes one refill to refill pull out the empty cartridge and insert replacement until it clicks and there is also a sharpener okay so this is the refill cartridge i'll put the price below it is spendy that's so why i'm doing a comparison because benefit i mean that's definitely more affordable so here is the sharpening cartridge I'm gonna be honest with y'all I don't know how to sharpen it yet I literally might have to google this so yeah there's like some sharpening mechanism I think I had an essay show me from Tom Ford how to do this once and this side I'm gonna do my brow with the Tom Ford chestnut now this is like much more expensive but I remember I had this brow product probably two years ago and I just remember liking it more and it's drier and a bit more gummy but that might be a good thing so I'm trying it again I went deeper this time I think in the summer I had gotten the color that was more gray because and then my eyebrows would be like not as severe but we're in, in winter so I went with the deeper color chestnut and my hair is black so again this is like more of like a taupey taupey brown yeah there's a gumminess to it I can see it just and it actually helps manipulate the eyebrows a bit actually I can see it as I'm filling in the brows it's also like taming it I think it definitely looks softer and more natural you see that compared to that 
there is a difference. It just looks a little bit more blurred and soft. Ooh, now I remember why. Yeah, that's really, really nice. I mean, it doesn't make much difference, but the ease of use, it, it's the formula. It's, I almost was worried when I was swatching it, it looked too dry, but because of that formula, it grabs and also soft blurs and manipulates the eyebrow um, hairs a bit more. Okay, so, so far, I mean, listen, you don't need to buy this. I think this is just fine, the benefit, but now I remember why Like I liked that product, the Tom Ford. So I'm just going back in and brushing them up. The benefit is almost too pigmented, if that makes sense. Too pigmented and um, it just bleeds out a little bit sometimes, like when I'm brushing and then it gets dark around. I mean, it's not for, for other people, like if they were to walk down the street, they're probably not gonna notice the difference, but this side is a bit softer. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to try was, I used to get the fiber brow gel of Tom Ford and I stopped getting it. So this is the new reformulation Espresso 04, but I've been using the Surratt Expressionist Brow in Deep Brown. Okay, so I'm gonna put that now on the side of like this side, cause this is products I have already. This formula is definitely thinner and it's a different type of brush and I'll show you in a moment. So that is what the mechanism looks like. And I'll show you a little bit of the product. That is the color down here. This one, brown, this is Surratt. And this is what the brush looks like. It's flat at the bottom, but it looks like, almost like toothbrush bristles. Let's go into the Tom Ford 04 eyebrow gel. Again, I guess this was reformulated, even though they said it wasn't, but some people have been saying that it was definitely reformulated. I like the brush better. You know why? Because it's smaller and it's easier to control than the other one. And because I have coarse hair, it actually gets inside more. The other one's too thin. I have like super thick Asian hair, whereas this, it gets in. So that's Tom Ford side. This is Benefit and Surratt side. I mean, really walking down the street, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. But for me, I can tell the difference. I It was definitely less of a struggle using this side, at least for the pencils. And I do like the Tom Ford side. They both look nice. It was just easier. This looks a little bit more intense and more brown. This is a little bit cooler. Yeah, tell me what you think. So that's 04 Tom Ford, and this is the brown when it's a rot. So very, very similar. This, the Tom Ford one is less chocolatey brown. It's a little deeper and more neutral. Okay, so I'm gonna do something that JLo had done in her video. Okay, so she had used Makeup Forever. The, I think this is an eyeliner, eyeliner and, oh yeah, eyeliner and lip pencil, artist color pencil. And she used the color Caffeine. I think I'll what that looks like. So what she had done is overlined and I have never really overlined because I have full lips, but I wanted to try it. I'm grabbing that caffeine color. And she overlined, which to me, I, okay, I've never done this, so please be nice to me. I can't get a clear Cupid's bow, but maybe that's part of what overlining is. I don't know. If you've done this before, let me know, beauty fam. I just, I think it's kind of messy. So she overlined and then she put um, the Fenty gloss. So I don't have Fenty gloss. I don't actually don't like Fenty gloss because of the vanilla smell. Actually, I'm gonna use my Merit lip oil in Marrakesh. Do you see that? Okay, so I'm grabbing Marrakesh. This is like my favorite. I love this Merit lip oil. I My lips do look bigger, at least the top. I can see, I yeah, I get why people overline. Okay, so I'm gonna overline at the bottom. It's totally a lip cheat. Okay, so I overlined at the bottom. And the top. It was funny, cause in the video she was like, I learned this off TikTok. I was like, girl, you didn't learn that from TikTok. You learned that from your makeup artist. 
you're a multimillionaire and people like in the best and the best do her makeup i just thought that was funny i learned this on tiktok like the rest of us okay so that's what my lips look like over lined um uh, by my brain she was blush a cream blush so i actually grabbed i don't have that color she has so i have a singe in phytosurgeons and then island glow in lisa eldridge which is really really bright i think it might be too bright it's like <laughs> super bright so i think i will go with this one because it matches like this more than that okay so i'm going into the, the color singe which now I remember, I like putting it on with my fingers, but then I like to have the sponge to spread it around. Yep, that's what I remember. And phytosurgeons, if you haven't tried them already, you gotta try them. They're an indie company based out of Vancouver, Canada. And here's what I like about phytosurgeons. They're a small company, independent owned. The colors they put out are just inclusive for everybody. I've seen their colors look good on everybody. Like super pale, my skin tone, deeper skin beauties. I'm going now into, and I'm gonna do this. Actually using the puff to tamp down any oiliness I have, but also it just tamps down this color a bit so it's not as intense, but it makes it stay. Cause if I don't tamp that down, it's gonna migrate all over. And then I'm gonna have like blush all over my cheek. Here is that satin Kajal liner, liner in Surfside. So that is Surfside on my eyelids. I will wear test it today. Um, and then I have the overlining from the caffeine liner and then Merit Lip Oil at the bottom. And yeah, I tried Tom Ford eyebrow products on this side and then my OGs like Surratt and then Surratt and then Benefit on the other side. Um, thanks for joining me, beauty fam. And if you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing and liking below. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell for all so you get notifications of when I upload. Almost at a thousand subscribers, so that's exciting. I don't know what that means other than you're supposed to have a thousand before you start to monetize. I do this for fun. Everything I buy is on my own dime. I have not received any really PR except for one sunscreen and that's it. And that's not the point of me having this channel. I love beauty. I love me, uh, love makeup. And, um, I just want to share what I'm trying and hear and like hear what you're enjoying. So that's it. Beauty fam. Um, please subscribe and please be very kind to yourself and others and just be you until the next video. Take care beauty fam. Bye.